Hello and welcome back to Charwell. So we're going in for a test today. We are taking the little conventional baler across to the field we combined in the last video to see if this time we can actually get bailed up. Spoke to the chap who's having the bales, he's quite happy to have wheat straw as well as oat straw. He just doesn't want barley straw. For obvious reasons for those that know about barley straw. It can cause irritation in certain creatures, especially humans. He's had a look at the quality of the straw on that field as well, so he's more than happy with it. certainly smaller swaths than the axial flow left so I am hoping that we can get it in he's taken his lorry combine is still there it's not actually that long since we cut it to be fair another field to do for him down beside that yard we've got Could just get out and check everything is uh, okay Sledge is actually running. She is. She's good. She probably miss a few bits on here, I should think. I'm hoping it won't be as messy as what that field of oats was turning into. Fast track and four wheel stair. So one more bale in the sled. this time. And we'll see how we get on. It certainly seems to be feeding in okay. okay. I'm missing the odd little bit. Maybe down to my driving as opposed to the bow though. Not used to these conventional things. I'm used to that inline one we've got. So let's get the drawing up so we can see what's going on. Anything I miss I will come back and get with this one. So there's going to be some big bits in some of these corners gets missed. 
try not to empty the sledge on them. Big swath down this side. Why well, that one's so big compared to the rest of them? Miss bits, I'm not going to leave them. I'd rather go around the field this way, to be honest. It's definitely going to miss this bit, I should think. It's such a uh, Big lump there. I must say, at the minute, I'm more impressed with our little Massey in line than I am with this thing. Pickup just is not wide enough on this boiler for modern combines. Which is frustrating. Let's try one straight down the field and see what happens. Slightly better, it's not missing too much down there. It's the headlands it's struggling with. It's almost got to run on top of the swath. Up this side. Don't worry about some little bits, as long as we've got most of them.
somewhere with it. If it keeps up with the uh, missing bits, I will uh, drop this on for the dealers and pick our one up. Sledge or no sledge. that is not selling its stuff to, to me at the minute. Just physically haven't got the time to have to keep clearing bits up on the field. And we are going to be buying a combine of this sort of size so it's got to be able to take it. Can't have a bale of what keeps missing bits. Just because it doesn't like the swath size. smaller combine just to fit a bio type when we've got one there what will do it yes it'd be nice to have one with the sledge on the back instead of a kicker or a straight drop if that means we got to drop 10 feet off the combine header at least it's not gonna happen I need the combine output more than I need the bowler output. How many conventionals we do in the space per year? I think enough is enough for this boiler. So I will uh, drop this back to the dealers and pick my one up. So I'll see you in a few moments. Alright, so there's two dealers upset in one day. To be fair, the uh, local dealer where we do everything is uh, also equally unimpressed with that bailer. The fact that I wouldn't go behind a 30 foot combine. And the manufacturer told me it would. use ours now. Yes it's going to leave the bale singly but um, not a lot we can do about that. I know this one will take a decent swath in it. <clears throat> better. We got a nice clean field behind us. dealer isn't going to give up with that other bale, they're going to have a uh, word with the manufacturer and see what they can come up with. Is this a new model? I 
the difference is night and day compared to this boiler. Nothing lying behind this one. The bloke we're doing the straw for is equally unimpressed at the fact that uh, that wouldn't handle this size swath. So he was considering uh, going in with us to buy it. That's for his benefit as well. Obviously, take the bale thrower off for doing these. Okay, it's going to take a bit more clearing up, but uh, so be it. Just see that this one just uh, munches through the bales. If only we could have a sledge on this baler. So we don't really need this much horsepower on this biler. So as I was using this tractor, probably use the 6.9 or the little class on it if we were going to do it again. Said is there any way we could find an old baler sort of between this and what we're using at the moment, the quadrant? They want something a little bit smaller. So we could be looking into that one. I do have something in mind. Just gotta see if I can find one. like something sort of between conventional and quadrant. Not sort of too small but not bigger. They know we're approachable about those sort of ideas for contract work. That'd give us quite a large bailing contract if we could do that one. Just have to see what's about there if any good. Doesn't have to be brand new either. All right, let's just go and clear this mess up. Well, that other bow was left now. So I'll take a bit more clearing up, but uh, we'll manage it. In a spare few minutes, I'll give my hand clearing up. Let's 
just about got everything we can get where there's not bales lying on top of it now. Let's try to get as much done as we can because it's supposed to rain in the next few days on here. Right, so that's where we'll leave this video. Now we've got this all bailed up. Something resembling bailed up at least. Not two completely different bales there. So for now I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. But goodbye for now.